the horse shit was that? <laughs> what the happy horse shit was that? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Hello everyone, I'm Steel. And I'm Teal. And we're with Studio Blue. In today's RPG Maker Let's Play, we're going to take a look at Project Compass by K. Rule. Alright, so this is a demo, thank you for submitting. Um, right off the bat, I do want to say there was no full screen option, and we generally like to have a full screen option. That plugin is really easy, and it just makes it so much prettier when we present it on video. Yes. Also, I can't read your title. It is hard to read the uh, color of the text, but that background picture sure is nice. Yeah, nice clouds with uh, some runes in the background. So uh, yeah. let's look at our options. I'm gonna always dash on, command remember on. Kind of lower that volume a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little. Keep things as is. Whee! And keyboard config, which we're not interested in. All right, exit. Cool. Let's start a game. Look at the sunflowers. They turn their gaze towards the sun and bask in its light, for they know what is good. Woe betide men who no longer reach out with the hands that they have been given. Chapter two, because who needs chapter one? <laughs> this is a demo, so yeah, but jokes will be made. Of course. By the way, this coffee is amazing, mm. Teal. Hmm. It's a panning, panning, okay. Panning, panning, panning. Hmm. Sleep. Zzz. Yeah. <laughs> The end. Thank you for playing. Something's definitely going on. Yeah. Screen shaking. Very ominous. You oh, know, wow. if I heard that, I would be leaping out of bed. And he is leaping out of bed. Ooh. <laughs> is it that time already? Yoda. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's like on a plane or a train or something. I think he's on a train. Dear passengers, we will shortly be arriving at Deus Railway Station. On a train. If you are getting off at the station, please make sure to gather all of your belongings before doing so. He is in the world's greatest train compartment. Yeah, I really... Ooh, I want to be there. All right, better get going then. Seriously, I want this, okay? It's, <laughs> it's, they got a, a desk. They got wow. a kitchenette. A table. Wow. And the bed of awesome. And I'm going to run out of my underwear because YOLO! This is so incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yes. I Bonus suppose point. we have to go to the wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, that little panning thing where I thought something was going wrong and it felt like something terrible was happening, that was actually pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. All right, to the wardrobe. Yes. We're going to put on our fresh clothes. <laughs> this is a hell of a train compartment. Yeah. Not even Amtrak can boast that. <laughs> yeah. The train has now arrived at Deus Railway Station. Next stop, Trista. <laughs> Bonus points if you get that reference. We ask passengers wishing to get off to use the doors on the left-hand side of the train. And... I just realized we have no music. We need music. 
Yeah. Something. Do need to have some BGM. Yeah. Something. This dead silence. It doesn't work unless you're trying to build up tension, and there's no tension. I'm getting off a train. Oh, neat. Yeah. Must be meeting some people. <laughs> Captain, sir, how was your trip, sir? It was good. I slept like a log. At ease, men. We've arrived, and so you are off duty, effective as of now. Thank you, sir. Oh, nice. Very cool. Very okay, cool. that was good. Very cool. By the way, uh, no need to say you're off duty. At ease is just their way of saying, at ease is fine. At ease, basically, at ease? Okay, we're off duty. He didn't have to give that much of an explanation. He's a CO. I was supposed to say something. <laughs> Not for long, sir. We arrived on the train just before. Tee hee. Good, good. I'm Antil, sir. If it's all right, I and Lead will go on ahead to the village. No problem. I have kept you waiting long enough already. We will see you there. And they toodle off. Toodle, toodle, except for that one. Mm-hmm. Okay, that one wants to talk. Yeah. Nice hairstyle you're rocking there, Captain. <laughs> you got that vulture's butt look now, Oh, God! There. Excuse me, rookie? Is that twirl a fashion statement, butthead? These two have got to be like Academy best friends. They have to be. Have to be. Yeah. That sir, butthead, for t to you. He'll show respect to your superiors. Maybe after you take a shower, you stink. Huh? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Dude, you need to have like a bird fall out of the sky. Yes! Oh, that would be great. A vulture. A vulture. Can you stop spreading your arms? Now the smell is all over here, too. Oh, yeah. These two have got to be friends. Yeah, they're, they're friends. Well, get away from that, shithead. I better go well with your face. Yeah! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and now we have music. Yeah. So we need to have something else. Maybe oh, like we some could have. We need music something. before now, yeah. Ha ha ha! Ha Clive, it's good to see you again, y'all fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How's your wife and my kids doing? <laughs> it's been a while. A while indeed. I must say I missed you a bit. Although in my mind you knew when to keep that trap shut. I cut that last bit out. Yeah. I'm glad to see that hellhole didn't ruin you. Much. <laughs> it was a bit rough, all right. But nothing we couldn't handle. I'm going to go over there for a while and wash my face. <laughs> my ass, too. I'll be right back and we can start heading up. Gotcha. Needs to do a shave and a haircut, too, while he's at it. Seriously, Fuck. yeah. Uh, that's shaving a haircut right there. Two bits. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Took you long enough. You got your nails done, too. A whole shebang. All for you. I think you just grew 15 years younger, man. Looking good. Thanks. Must be the shampoo. Oh, all set. Let's go, huh? Wee. That's not needed. Lead All that on, slow, Captain. Not that slow walking, man. Come on, do that shit. Let's just go. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Fucking hell. The mountain base. I hope you've done your stretching because we'll have to pummel through some of these guys, too. Wait, what about the guys that just came? Let's get on with it then. That's the welcome party, man. Yeah, it's a slime. Yeah, those... A tutorial yeah. on skills will follow. Those slimes aren't cute. <laughs> Yoda I do, and Clive I do can use their base... Hmm? 
I don't know. Yoda and Clive can use their basic attack skill to defeat the enemy, but you also have the option of making use of their skills. Yoda can use arts, and Clive can use both magic and arts. Using skills to consume TP or MP, and sometimes even both, since execution of skills or attacks often grants the character TP, this they can spend on their skills. <sighs> MP, on the other hand, can be restored to items or visiting a save point. Furthermore, by repeatedly using skills, you will accrue different experience to a particular skill. <laughs> Does it ever end? Does it end? Way too much front loading, Holmes. Way too much. Alright, uh, arts. I can glint. I shall glint the slime. You know, honestly. What's up? I don't really care for that slime graphic. Yeah, those are the MV slimes. Yeah. They ain't all that. Alright, let's get some glinting going on. They got cuter later on. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Oh, that's cool. Note here. Oh, I like that. I don't, that's not working. Like, yeah. Need to raise them numbers up some hoss, but. Alright, let's get some glint in the going picture on. actually looks like the slime is melting. Yeah. Melting. <laughs> and by the way, guys, that's actually gonna be. Teal's critique tonight is on how the slimes look like they're melting. She's critiquing the slimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just... I... There really needs to be better graphics for slimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Battle results. Yeah. Spoils. Okay. Yeah, let's go talk about these slimes again. Ah! Okay. Save point, Crystal. Yay. Oh, I'm glad that it's a full recovery. Yeah, that's cool. I actually prefer those. Yeah. Although, everyone does crystals. It's they... easy to get those graphics. It is, it is. But I'd like to see maybe a, a sigil on the floor, you know? Uh, a save place. A small little sigil. Yeah. Maybe glowing. I'm gonna lower the blue sigils are save points. Music down just a little, guys, because I actually can't hear my wife. Green sigils are teleports. There we go. Red sigils are. Oh, sorry. Teal's right in your game for you, didn't? Deus, <laughs> <laughs> Deus Railway. Here begins the hike. Whoa. Yay! Nothing like a good morning exercise. Dude, it's noon already. <laughs> oh, goody. Flat All right, yeah. Pet peeve of mine. Don't have on-screen encounters and random encounters. All right, let's go to this Western-style music battle thing that we got going on. Let's see what the regular attacks do. Not a goddamn thing. Okay. Jack <laughs> and shit. Ow. Ow. Hey! Huh, right? Time for some glint. Don't, don't miss right out of the starting gate, dude. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I don't know, right? What were you doing? Sleeping on that train? Ha 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 ha. Boom! Ha 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 ha! Smackety smack, smackety smackety smack. Alright, up we go. Smackety smack smack. Yeah. We. It's a flat flap and a melty. Ha! Ah! It does 
does sound kind of western. Yeah. If you slowed it down a little bit, it would definitely... You're on a horse, kind of clopping towards the sunset. Yeah. Like you need a little hoof, clop, clop sounds. Yeah. Wow, I can so, just see that. Eh, I don't like Lint. I don't feel like it's a good uh, value. I'll probably comment more during our uh, closing statements, yeah. but... Lint feels like it's a really poor value for a skill, all jokes aside. That sucked ass. <laughs> So, 21 damage. We're getting to a point. He should be dead. Intro dungeon. No enemy should last more than two standard hits. Right. You can change that metric later on. At least we get a treasure chest. Right? Potion. Oh, we don't actually start with any random shit. We do not. I think that a traveling guy traveling in a train and coming out of a train yeah. would have some things. I recommend a little bit of starting loot. Yeah. Healing items. That sort of thing. Yeah. Not a ton, just yeah, medicinal supplies you'd have. Oh, it's rock pushing. How exciting. I get to push rocks around and that's a... How I solve puzzles. Sorry. I'm not, I, I shouldn't give you any shit, developer. Um, I did these. We did these. Yes. It's just really old now, man. Really old. It's a stimulant. Oh, a stimulant. What is that For stimulant? For your colon. Do? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no teal. <laughs> Bad teal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, also... Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I'm going to make a comment about that boulder thing. Right. Again. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a terrible note. I'm probably not going to know what the hell I'm saying at the end. <laughs> awesome. All right. Hey, where's that TP thing you've been talking about? I'm looking for them TP thing. <laughs> I am going to give you so much shit at the end of this thing about your balancing. Um, but I, I like... What I do like is that I don't feel like I'm burdened down with a lot of choices. But I don't feel like I have enough. And I'll get to that during the post-mortem. So all jokes aside, not terrible, but could be better. Uh, heal. Yes. Yourself. Aha. Yay. Boo. Huh. I just have to ask. What kind of armor do these Melties have? Oh, the best ever. Phew. They have a uh, slime and wesson. Wait, that's a gun. <laughs> Yeah, I got V-Slash, Meditate, and Fire, Fire sword. sword. And a treasure chest. <laughs> With an anecdote. An anecdote. An anecdote. Yeah, I got the upper hand. Ah, oh, there's my TP thing. Woot. I do like the fact that these bats have drained. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Alright, let's see how this works. I want to see how I can beat stuff with it. Yeah. Fire sword thing. Stuff. Oops. There we go. Da da dee, da 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 da. <laughs> Woo! Pretty cool. Yeah, that's alright. Yay! Ooh. 
You do actually give us a lot of choices, and I kind of appreciate that. Yes. Your paths are pretty good. If, if the balancing matched the uh, the pathfinding, it would. Uh, if the balancing of the battles matched the paths, uh -huh. we'd be doing pretty good. But I actually don't want to mess around too much because of the balancing issues I'm having. And I just kicked the table, sorry. Whoops. So yeah, the battles are easier now, but, uh, hey, we're seasoned fighters and soldiers. Yeah. Why the fuck are bats giving us problems? Because those bats are dressed in Kevlar. Right? Well, at least we're finding the treasures. At least we're finding the... Wow, what the heck? That is like a fucking mongoose or something. What wow. Is that? It's a kamitachi. Right. Well, I'll, uh... Yeah. Do this because you have me scared. Also, I want to see what it does. Oh, my health. Heal. Almost out of MP. <laughs> Yay. Uh huh. Ow. I'm just going to negate the healing. Wait, 20. Wow. What the horse shit was that? <laughs> what the happy horse shit was that? It's handing you some TP. I mean, I mean the fuck? Did I like encounter? What? And it's not dead yet? Oh. What the fuck? Am I encounter? What is this? Am I encountering like some goddamn like the tower, like the hallway of giants in the Earth Dungeon in Final Fantasy One? What the fuck's going on? Come on, man. Oh my god. He's one of my two potions now. Yeah. Before Yona gets boned. 100 MP. Love it. That enemy has no goddamn business in the first dungeon. Nope. And I gotta go hopscotch across a bunch of shit How to get a hell? fucking... Are you supposed to get that treasure chest? I don't know. Well? You know what? I'm gonna see if I can escape. Oh, but it was... Oh, I was unable to escape, so now I'm gonna get it my was ass... squeakies! ...handed to me... Oh, ...for an squeakies. entire fucking round. That is definitely a thing here. Yeah. Bend down and grab your ass. Right? Jesus, H. Wow. That sexy balancing of yours. <laughs> we are gonna die! Fuck, if I wanted this much challenge, I'd go play Bloodborne. <laughs> oh my god. I, uh... Ugh. Yeah, right? Oh! Oh! That wasn't intuitive. Another stimulant. For a stimulant? Oh man, I was hoping to find some food! Yeah. I was hoping to find like 25 potions. <laughs> or some MP heals. Yay, another fight against this motherfucker! Because, you know, mm. fuck you, Steel. <laughs> oh, look, I'm out of MP. I guess I'll try to run. It was unable to escape. Yeah, yeah, relegated so, to like, status. So, like, what's the point of having the escape function if you can't escape? To taunt me. <laughs> I suppose so. Well, it, I'm gonna... it's an angry forest spirit. It really honestly is. Here's a stimulant. Yay. And it, it... Really? Yeah. And MP goes up. And MP goes up. And MP goes up. No. I uh, just fixed one of your problems. Guard makes MP go up. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, wow. 
I guess he's wearing Kevlar too. And we're dead. Uh. Oh well. It was great. Yay, stimulant! It's gonna turn the tide of battle! <laughs> no! no. <it's> not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and dead. I was making fun of my body odor earlier. Oh, uh, I guess so. Oh, Yay, I'm dead! Alright, you're done. Defeated. Oh. <sighs> so there we go. I'm not even gonna. Uh, <clears throat> that's it. Um, your balancing is absolutely terrible. I, I'm sorry. I've tried to be constructive here. Uh, I, I I really enjoyed the opening part with the train. That was cool. How you kind of psyched me out into thinking it was the end of the world or some disaster. And yet, but what it was is so cool. You, you changed the color and temperature to go from a darkened room to sunlight. That was nice. Yeah, that yeah. was nice. The banter between Clive and Yona was actually pretty cool. Oh, that was fun. I could instantly tell. Okay, these guys are either academy buddies or best friends before joining the military. Yeah, or something. That was cool too. And then we went into the dungeon. Um, hmm. Well, you're, you're front-loaded too much on that first battle. Um, spend the first couple of battles giving information. Yeah. One, maybe two paragraphs of text. Uh, I say that with what we did with Rosenhearts, but in this, in this case, there's no uniqueness to your battle system other than uh, enemies' health is revealed after you kill them. Anyone who's yeah. played an RPG Maker game knows how to use the default MV battle system. Even if they don't, it's very intuitive you can pick it up. You don't need all this stuff. Just give them information and uh, let them figure out how to how to play the game from there. Front load just a little bit, and each battle front load a little more. Yeah, that's what I, I would agree on. You really want to let them learn by doing. Yeah. Um, I do have a note on your boulder puzzle. I was noticing that if I pressed against a boulder when it couldn't move, it would make that little sound and I would freeze while the event was going through the loop of moving, not moving. What you can do is just do a check and if it can't move first, then have nothing happen. If it can move, then have it go through that whole animation of moving and sounds and all that shit. Yeah. You know, otherwise I accidentally press against it and I waste time and it looks unprofessional. Uh, too many encounters. In that first dungeon. Uh, that's what I was going to yeah. point out. There was just too many random enemy encounters. We take a few steps and then get attacked. And yeah. the enemies are not one-hit kills. We're sitting there hacking and hacking away at it with our level one crap. Yeah. Uh, we've said this before in previous games. If you're a person who's been in the military for a while and you've been on several campaigns, you're not going to be level one. Yeah. So yeah. two, maybe even three. I would say so. Bump up those levels a little bit. Yeah, and start on our PCs. Yeah, and start us off with Tim TP consumable skills. Yes. Yes. Uh, to justify building up the TP meter. And then your balancing, man. Uh, this is where everything fell apart. The balancing was atrocious. It really was. I am being as harsh sounding as I can because I haven't seen balancing that bad in a while. The basic attacks. Yeah. Didn't do a damn thing. I felt like they were useless. Uh, defense does nothing. There's no impedance to do anything other than use your skills, which you'll run out of MP. Since there's no MP healing items, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah. And that fox, ta mongoose, honey badger, whatever the fuck enemy that was, <laughs> that shit needs to take it away. It goes. That's a boss. That's a boss. You were hitting me with a random encounter with a goddamn mini boss. So, um, you got a lot of work to do, man. You got a lot. A lot of work. Um, and uh, one, more, one more thing. Of course. Let's uh, start us off with some some items already in our inventory. Yes. Healing and curative items. Yes. And uh, some decent equipment. Yeah. Uh, now, 
Teal, you're the the level design genius. Was the maps good? I was too busy. The maps were fine. They okay. were they were uh, just it was simple maps and uh, had enough variety in the path and everything. I didn't see too much of a problem with them, to gotcha. be honest with you, because the, the way this kind of game is, you're just you're just kind of moving and going to an objective. Yeah. The focus isn't really on this pretty environment. Blah blah blah. You, no. Yeah. That's not what the focus of the game is on. No, it's not. It's not. Um, it was interesting enough map. Yeah. So uh, this is actually a very quick LP. Uh, we went through this one probably... I don't even know if we're going to hit the 10-minute mark on this one. Probably about 15, maybe. Yeah. Um, we could do mm -hmm. the one that... Uh, the other one that was given to us. That's the one that we've been kind of looking at. Yeah. We could jump into that one. You want to do that one? Let's do that one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Well, we're waiting. All right, and we're back. Uh, what do we got, Teal? Well, we're going to be playing Riahura by High Blitz. Now, High Blitz is a special guy to us. High Blitz did the UI for the RPG Maker version of Rosen Hearts. Yes. And... When we release that, uh, we've had some beta testers look at it. When we release that just for you guys to play with, we just want to say those beautiful menus are this guy. <laughs> I've also checked out his streams before, his dev streams. Uh-huh. This guy knows his stuff. So, don't know how the game's going to come together, but it's going to be beautiful. Well, I so, tell you, I already love this screen. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. And the music, and wow. Yes. This is... Beautiful. Ugh. So, A plus on presentation. Wow, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give you a new sheet of paper in our Ooh, notebook. Ooh, look at that. Look at Steel the is getting credits. the fresh piece of paper there for the notebook. <laughs> oh, look at that. God. Seriously, right? Wow. Dude. Raise the bar. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, um... Dude, that We're is pretty. We're gonna be playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, you know, these things are real easy to put together. Oh, yeah. Just do the, something like this, just that extra mile is amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. All right, let's, um... Get started. Oh, we got... Oh. Yay. Uh, drifty. Ah, Yukum Kun. Drifty. All right, let's make this happen. Yes. All right, here we go. New game. Pre-alpha. Okay. Bugs. Oh, okay. Works. Ah. Okay, then that's cool. Yeah. Bugs and stuff, fine. Do this, developers, right here. Yeah. Right here. Gore, blood, bright flashing lights, some oh, imagery. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll let you guys know if we have to actually, stop. Yeah, I, yeah, I really appreciate this warning. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, there are there have been some games we have had to pass up because of the flashing effects it has on Teal. So Yeah. I yeah. Can't we'll see what it. happens. Yeah. I, okay. Uh, fist bump. Fist bump. Let's make this happen. Skip the intro? No. No, we're going to watch the intro. My name is Zerum. Get here. I, I can't stand. Whoa. I can't speak. Day is my time. My time to leave this world.
I don't know what to say. This is incredible. Fuck <laughs> it. Wow. I'm actually stuck without a quip. Or a clever thing to say. That was awesome. And now I'm a floaty ball. Catch that background. Music. And effects. I'll, I want to take a screenshot of this. Yeah, seriously. Holy crap. Screen. <laughs> ah, I don't care. I don't care. This is just beautiful. Yeah. I know. It was going to be like lol, but it's just beautiful. Holy shit. Look at the layers, the parallax layers. Man, what was your budget, huh? 50,000? 75,000? This is incredible. I've seen him wow. on some of his graphical dev streams. To my knowledge, he does all this by hand. <laughs> That's really talented. This is amazing, dude. Holy shit balls. Oh my god. Press Z, okay. Remember. Remember who you were. For your freedom. You have to fight. Whoa! Oh! Gee, that gee whiz, this is awesome. Oh, 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 oh. oh god. I'm giddy. <laughs> I'm giddy. I'll never remember this. I'm gonna suck at this control wise, but that's on me. I don't care. I just want to learn how to shield and kill. <laughs> Pay attention to your stamina bar, okay? <laughs> oh, using something will consume your energy. Oh, okay. You're fighting new essences, I think. Yeah. Ah, that didn't work. Oh, that's what happens. Okay. Oh my god. god. Well, I do suck, but that's okay. Divinity statue. Skill tree, that must be our Ooh, skill tree. It is. It's our <gasps> level up yet. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Whoo. Alright, let's save. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Hey. <laughs> wow. Th this is just brilliant. Yeah. This is straight up brilliant. Yeah, I, I don't even know like the plugins you've used. I I know nothing. I just know that's cool. 
What'd I do? What'd I do wrong? Ah. Okay. Look at that really, really neat treasure chest. Yeah. Give me that stuff. Ah. Okay. Nice. This thing needs controller support, like, straight up. Yes! I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I do want to use my controller yeah. with this. Like, absolutely. Wow. This is great. Yeah. See, I have just enough context from that opening storyline piece that now I feel like I can explore and not necessarily know immediately what's going on. I'm dead, yeah. I think, and that's okay. Every time you run off the cliff, you end up back at the beginning again. Yes. I, I personally hate that, but, you know, it's a minor nuisance. I, um, I actually like it. Do? I don't I don't like falling off the cliff and, and just dying and game over and starting again. Yeah. This, this is actually better. Do you like uh, being on the island you fell off on, or do you like going back to the beginning of the platform? I would rather be on the island that I fell off from, yeah. rather than at the very beginning. Yeah. I gotta be a little careful, and I have heavy fingers, and I'm haphazard, and I like tapping and holding down keys, like yeah. a little punk-ass bitch. So... Like oh, that. crap! See, so like that. Yeah! So... Basically, I would consider maybe having you back on the platform you fell off on. Just think about it. It's not a make it or break it point with me, but it would be nice. Alright, let's try this now. E D. Oh, yeah. this is so neat. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yay! I activate the crystal. There we go. Okay. Nice. Tiny little hint. Disable your map name piece that flashes the name of the map. Just disable that when you do cutscenes like this. But that's, again, uber minor. Uber, uber minor. Yeah. I'm going to save again. Uh-huh. We're going to save again. So I have a dash, I have a block, and I have a stabby slashy smack. Nice uh, listing of stats, too. You can... Yeah. Yes. See how you stack up. Yep. The branch of truth. Just wow! Man, I'm just loving the the background music and the map. Yeah. Oh man, high blitz, dude! Look at this monolith thing. I don't even know what it is, nor do I care. It's just cool. And this is a pre-alpha. Yeah, it's a pre-alpha, and you can tell the hitbox is terrible. Like these new instances are hitting me when I'm not even in the same area as them. Um, you know, I'm almost going to say you need to have an engine that doesn't work on tiles. You know, for hit detection. Because if this is RPG Maker, which I think it is, it is RPG Maker. Um, the engine's amazing and it can do a lot of things, but it requires tiles. And yeah. it doesn't require pixel precision. Alright. This is the world of Asaya, where the Tree of Life emerged after your death. Okay. Saya! I've actually heard that before. Or something similar. Uh, Angel Sanctuary. Yeah, Angel Sanctuary. Find the stump of the tree, you will know the truth. Okay. Know the truth, you're the pre yourself worthy. Find fragments and challenge the guardians. Alright. Wash, rinse, repeat. So there's our, our objective. Yeah. Our little quest to source. 
<laughs> I like if you can't teleport, you end up back where you started. Yeah. You know, you don't nothing ventured, nothing gained. You don't lose anything. So I can't teleport. Shut up. Right. Whoa! Look at this. Whoa. I'm now stuck on the flash. I'm the goddamn flash. I'm pretty sure it's just a bug. It's it's just a bug. I am the Flash! Okay, I'm back to normal now. That was an awesome bug, though. Yeah. Ew. Well, that's because my dumbass was just standing there holding the freaking shield to the left and the enemy approached me from behind. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at these games. It's great. Oh. Why do you look different? Yeah. You did fight those creatures? Did you fight those creatures? You are brave. I can't go forward. These creatures will eat us. Can't sleep. Baylor will eat me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm going to do. That's just how I'm going to run from now on. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Here we go. What, I can't go back up? Oh, nope. Screw you, game. <laughs> screw you with a garden hose. So, another divinity statue right here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we need one there. God damn it. Yay, blue orbs. What do they do? What do blue orbs do? Oh, it must be for, like, leveling up or something. The broken Ooh, bridge. Broken bridge. Let's put it back together. London Bridge is falling down. He ate it a little. What are you? You don't know? You will not hurt me, right? <laughs> oh, this is so strange and interesting. Yeah. And you can definitely feel this unique, like, culture to it. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. The high Blitz, let us know what the inspiration for this was. I don't want to make any incorrect assumptions. Let us know. This is amazing what you're doing here. Of course. What I think was about to just happen, right? Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the chains! Wow. Look at the chains! Yes! Look at the chains! Oh, God. I'm sorry. I am jonesing over this. This is the... <laughs> I, I actually go and browse the internet when I'm really bored for artwork like this where you have these beautiful, magical, strange dimensional things with islands being held by chains <laughs> to the mainland. Teal knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, Hard yes. drive's full of that shit. I love this. Oh my god. So good. Now you may die. Food. Aha. <laughs> Give me your... Aggressiveness. Okay. Hey. Give me your green thing. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Now what's that shit over there? I want to go there. Punk ass. Alright. Heh. <laughs> it's a tease. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. It's up on the clouds. There have been games we've played that have uh, dropped us in with minimal explanation. Yeah. Uh, uh, one of the very first games we ever played, Akinny. Um, a couple others, don't remember the names. I, this one, I think, does it the best. Yeah. I'm getting a feeling, and I'll. I'm going to take a note right there. I'll hold that for the end because that's actually a, a lot of information. Alright, moving on. Broken bridges, right. The bridge is broken. It is broken. Long live the bridge. Ah, I see what it is now. Aha! Traversing the broken bridge and talking to this dude. You are going this way? <laughs> Well, well, be warned. Creatures there can throw things at you. I have a shield. That's right. 
If only I had a shield to protect myself. Well, I do. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm. Aha! Oh, soul eater. Ah. Yeah. Oh shit, well, okay, I probably need a little more careful there because it does that thing. <laughs> oh, I can repel it! Yeah! Look, I can repel it! Oh shit, I can do eight directions! Fuck! Structure there. It's awesome, that's what it is. It's invisible. Look at the little thing moving around. How do I get on this thing? I don't get it. I'm pressing wrong. Well, there's a. Up right to the north, there's this strange circle. Circle structure thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Ta-da! Thank you, Teal. You're welcome. This is why Steel doesn't play these kind of games, because he's a moron! <laughs> no, do I just... I just yeah. step on, and now I move! Yeah. Oh, can I jump on this thing? That'd be so cool if I could. This, like, sea anemone or whatever that is. Right, that's how I'm looking at it. No, I don't think I can. I'll try. Oh, I would have lost my shit. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. Because if I actually can jump on that thing's back, like, you will hear a grown man freak out. Oh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, well. Yeah. Whoo! All right. This is so neat. It really is. It really is. <laughs> wow. See, there, there's all kinds of ways you can go to explore this map. Yeah. And that's not one of them. No. Oh, this is so neat. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Just the right amount of obfuscation of the paths using the clouds. Like, literally, the exact amount that I want to see. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, nice long. Oh, yeah. Oh, something interesting there. Yeah. Be something cool. Actually, yeah. I don't even care what it is. It could eat me and I'll like it. <laughs> I'll ruin the frog month. Ooh. Okay. Shall I go and try some more? Or Yeah. I have no idea what's going to happen next, but, uh, this is awesome! Yes, it is. Alright, let's see. Let's go all the way over I mean, this there, time. There's so much to explore on this. Yeah, gotta make catch it next time. Yeah. Oh, this is so neat. And those little, like, little weird troglodyte things yeah. floating around. They're, they may just be background, but they add this immeasurable life mm -hmm. to the world. And then that shit happens. Oh, you have to avoid And they avoid actually them. can hurt me. Okay. That is awesome. Try again. Or maybe there is there is no try and it's going to fuck me up no matter what. Uh-huh. Oh, pardon me. Oh, you're fine, huh? 
Yeah, I can't attack, so if it knocks me off, it knocks me off. Okay, so it's going to do that. Okay. It's going to do that. Okay, so okay. we obviously don't want to take that one. Yeah. It's good to know. And it may be that, that the only ones that we can't take are the ones we did. Right. Well, well, it, well that could we'll be it. We'll know. We'll know. We'll know if this sucker knocks me off. Yep. Okay. Cool. I'm okay with this, actually. So, it was only just yeah, the one path. Just and, the one path. That's and we took it. it. That's Got it good. right the first time. All right. All right, so I'm going to go get past this pile of nope. Right. And then do that, because why the fuck not? Aha. Yes! Frag soul. Which we need. Go loop around here. So much to explore. Yes. So much to explore, and I can avoid the battles if I want to. Oh shit. I can avoid the battles if I want to. Uh. No. Okay, I gotta do something to undo this. Nah, 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 nah. Shit, I better go save. <laughs> yeah, it would be ideal. Right? Savey, savey. <laughs> what the hell? What just happened? You have inventory. Inventory, equipment, status, options, exit the game. I didn't even know this thing had a ring menu. So inventory, blue orb, what's that do? Recover. Nice. Weapon, okay. Armor. Key item, rune fragment. Piece of a puzzle, okay? That's just amazing. Alright, let's see. I think if I do this, I can set this to... Hotkey? I don't want to use it. Nope, okay. Can't use it yet. Alright. Maybe say something about the inventory ring, the ring menu. Yeah. Just a little something. You can also exercise, exercise your menu by pressing X. It's another puzzle area. Yeah. Oh, we critted. Oh, yeah, I just knocked the crap out of that thing. I invalidated it. Yeah. The Great Plain. Oh, what makes this plane so great, huh? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. It's so fulfilling to knock the crap out of something in this game. It really is. I don't feel like it's a tedium to fight. I feel like, hey, I just beat the shit out of something <laughs> yeah. that desperately deserved it. I feel good about myself. You gonna go up? Yeah, I was gonna check out that thing, but then I realized I was useless. There's a slot. Oh, you need a rune fragments. Okay. Cool. That's punk. I'd be curious to know why those little sock creatures are called nuisances. Right? I'm very curious about the lore of this place. I Yes, we need to learn the lore. And if we learn it through environmental storytelling, like in Dark Souls, that's fine. I'm going to get my ass kicked. Yeah, that's as not... As long as we learn it. Something. Mm-hmm. Lore through items, it doesn't matter. Oh goody, red orbs. Ooh. Does that to heal HP? That would be great. It does. Yes. How do I equip it? 
I'm gonna guess maybe a bug, or the game isn't ready for me to use items. Well, there. The tutorial of the menu. Yeah. That showed you the game config, the, the keys. Maybe you should look at that. Yeah, let's try that. Let me get out of here and go hit the help menu. You're right. You're right, Dale. You're right. All right. Let's see. Boom, ba doom, ba doom. Hey. Item menu. Q. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good job, Teal. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't have anything negative to say about that. Maybe the first time you get an item you can equip, just remind us. But really, honestly, it's so minor. A gentle reminder. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. I don't care that I just got zapped. That's cool. T. <laughs> Somebody liked getting zapped. <sighs> hey, man. Hey. Demons. Get your, demons. Get your souls. jollies where you can, Spoiler. right? What's that? Nothing. Yeah. I didn't say a word. Uh huh. <laughs> hey! And then, and then that happens. Yeah, well. We wanted to go there anyway. Yeah. I meant to do that. T. <laughs> Can trees block shots? Can trees block shots? Come on, tell me, show me, show me, show me. They cannot! Nope. Oh my god, they cannot. No, they cannot. Trees should be able to block shots. Oh, this is new. That's the rune fragment thing. Okay. Yeah. And this is this place. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Don't hit the wrong button in the heat of combat, right? <laughs> Jeez, I'm... You know, I'm gonna hear that whoop sound, and I'm gonna start getting PTSD over it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hear it, and I'm gonna go, God, trying to kill me. It's a good cue to know that something is uh, targeting you. Yeah. The ass whooping's about to begin. you don't always see it. You don't. You're right, you don't. Interestingly enough, that the squares um, connect yeah. to this island. Yes. The one that we were trying to ride and we kept getting knocked off of it. Yeah. I'm going back here because I'm genuinely invested in saving my game and keeping my progress uh, yeah. saved. The path of least resistance. So you're going backwards. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil it for me. All right. Ow. Did I get it? Yeah, I killed it. God damn. Really? Really steal? <laughs> uh. Oh, there is more. Oh. There is more. Clever, Dev. Clever. Or, well, clever to you, not clever me, because apparently I can't date the distance of a jump to save my goddamn life. Wow. Hmm. There's a hook shot when you need it, right? Yeah. This is cool. So I want to make a statement. At this point, while I'm playing, mm -hmm. my mind and my eyes are fully acclimated to the world High Blitz has created. 
I'm actually in a zone right now where I'm not consciously seeing the environment as pieces of sprites, etc. Yeah. This is just a coherent whole. And when a developer does that, you know they know they've done the right thing. Yeah. So, man, really well done. We'll give it one more shot, see what we can figure out. Yeah, There's got to be can... somewhere around here yeah. that we haven't considered going. A mini-map might be neat, too. I don't know. Maybe that would spoil it. As much as I would love to have something like that, I think it would spoil it. Yeah. I like the mystery of not knowing. Yes. And that kind of brings up a philosophical point. A lot of the games that we critique, and a lot of games people... I just got a Healy Orb. A lot of games that people create, especially when they're new to it, mm -hmm. things like exploration and battles and such become either a chore, an inconvenience, or something that the player is afraid of. They're, you know, the player's been taught to, for whatever reason, to fear. Yeah getting lost and figuring out where they need to go next on their own without any hand holding. Yeah. With this game, I don't feel that at all. I feel that this is part of the experience is having no idea where I'm going or how to get there. Right. And I don't usually get that in the games we critique. I so desperately want to get up there. Yes. Rune fragments. I need one more, right? Yeah. Ah. <sighs> The maps are large, and you have to keep track of where you've been, so you don't go in circles. Yes. I definitely like the fortune favors the bold. Yeah. Um, part of the reasons I'm not a big fan of Dark Souls in general, not so much Bloodborne, but Dark Souls, is it favors you being very careful and waiting for that moment of opening and then going in striking and pulling back. This game, I feel like I'm being more rewarded for taking that chance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm missing something. Oh, here we go. I am missing something. <laughs> Ooh. Please be a rune fragment. No, but I'll take it. We'll take the red I'll one. Take it. <sighs> Come over here, maybe. Maybe something here. No, that's no. just a dead end. And then it was this thing here that didn't. That thing brought us back to. Yeah. So just go. Yeah, just go south. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah, along this this path. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get impatient. Ah, see, err. Ah. Where did you get this music? I want this music. Oh, this is such nice music. You know, normally I c I complain about dead ends. Yeah. But this is uh, this is this is really appropriate to your narrative. It, it is. It is. It is. It, it it it's like I said, it, it, it kinda it the experience. Yeah. As I get like the shit zapped out of me. Good God. Maybe cut down on the damage that the lasers of PTSD do. The uh arriving at a dead end is not a very long path either so you don't feel annoyed at having to backtrack right because you didn't get very far in the first place exactly i don't feel like i've lost a whole lot yeah when i hit that dead end no. yes i am confused as to where to go next yes i'm now trying to 
kind of figure my way through all of this. But I don't feel like I'm being punished for exploring. Exactly. Hmm. That's yeah, kind of weird. I don't know if that's intentional. Huh. Oh my god. No, no, no. H head, to head to the left. This one? Yes. This is the basic area, yeah. This brings us back to the, uh... Yeah, but see, there's the, 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 the block. Yeah. Right, that's where that's where the rune fragment was down there. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. Crud. I thought I was onto something. It's okay. I mean, mm. yeah, I hope our viewers aren't bored watching me run around trying to figure out where to go next, but as far as me, I'm not bored at all. This is actually fun. I mean, I am... I would get frustrated if after a while I was doing this for like an hour at a time, but right now I just kind of... I feel like I'm being allowed to explore the world my way. And I feel... Die. I feel like it's relaxing. Yeah. Uh, we need to take a red orb. There you go. Your dash is the greatest thing ever. This is... This is god tier awesome. This dash. Hmm. I want to be able to go through more obstacles though. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to be honest with you. We're not smart. We know where go. We don't we know don't. where we're going. We don't know where we're going. But um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I actually feel like I got a pretty good feel of things now. Yeah. Sit back to the statue. There's a treasure chest there. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that we got. Um. Mm. God. So, hi, Blitz. I do have a couple of questions that you can answer over Discord or, preferably, uh, in the comments section when you see this video. Uh, did you actually make all of this? Are all of these your assets, and did you make the music as well? Because if you did all of this that we're seeing, mm -hmm. that's pretty freaking amazing. Because um, I don't see anything even remotely default. This all looks custom. I mean, I know that the particle plugin is probably uh, Mog Hunter's plugin, and you're probably using some modified ATB yeah. or ABS. But damn, oh, uh, we go ahead and just go right to the post mortem on this because yeah, there's not a lot to say. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I took down these notes, and these are okay. critical points uh, for High Blitz to consider. Um, First off, uh, this is actually kind of the big one. Um, okay. RPG Maker MV and all the RPG Makers are a tile-based system. So everything works on, I think, like 32 by 32 or 16 by 16 bit tiles. The movement, mm -hmm. the motion of shots, you know, enemy bullets, uh, everything. So that includes hit detection. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's either on my 32 by 30 bit top 32 by 32 tile i.e. it hit me or it's not on my 32 by 32 tile at all i.e. it misses yeah and that's not the most effective way especially for something that's that like this to do hit detection yeah the point is is i honestly my honest critique is that this game does not need to be an rpg maker game there's nothing wrong with the rpg maker engine uh I'm not saying it's not suited for stuff like this, but you really want pixel precision yes. that you would get in something like Unity, which Unity does 2D. They do, yeah. Uh, Unreal, uh, Game Maker. Game Maker. You know, all, all, the ones that actually allow for pixel precision. I would highly recommend you consider moving your assets over to a game engine that will allow you to give this thing the precision it yeah. needs so that when a player is playing, they'll have that accuracy that's necessary. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you probably see it, guys, as, as I'm playing. I know Teal could see it. Yeah. I'm running around, and 
I'm kind of slamming my fingers on the keys trying to get good positioning to hit those nuances guys. Right. And forget the guys that were shooting the lasers at me. Yeah. It's <laughs> so, I, and also with that, it will give you better chances to um, make your teleport work, your dash teleport work the way you want it to work. Uh, it will allow objects like trees and pillars to block enemy shots, which will allow players more strategy when they're fighting things yeah. that are shooting. So, really, the big critical point is move this off this engine and put it on an engine that can handle the precision you need. Uh, okay, so this is uh, a positive comment. I mean, we've been jonesing about the game since we started playing oh, yeah. it. <laughs> but a lot of the games that I critique, that we critique, Teal, uh, I don't get a feeling about how the game is presenting itself mm -hmm. until words, narrative, text, something with a written word yeah. pushes me in that direction. You know, oh, it's time to go save the princess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the kingdom is in danger. You know, oh my God, Jim, it's a dining room. Right. Something. With this, it uses that environmental storytelling. Yeah, those little creatures talk to us and they mm -hmm. give us hints. But I'm getting a feeling of where to go. I'm getting a feeling of how I fit into the world. It's just, it's kind of like all the little pieces, parts, the music, yeah. the ambiance, the sound, even the little particle effects, the little soul particles coming up. Yes. Everything is coming together cohesively to make me feel like I'm a part of the experience. And yeah, it makes it harder for me to critique, but easy to play. I could play this game. Oh yes. Easily play this game just for fun and sink hours into it. Mm -hmm. So for all of you who are watching, this is what you have to do. And it doesn't mean you make an ABS uh, active action battle game. You don't have to make some weird Dark Souls narrative or, you know, you don't have to do anything that High Blitz has done. You can do this with a save the princess, slay the dragon, rescue the kingdom kind of game. Right. But what you have to do is bring all of those things. You have to bring the... The graphics, mm -hmm. the characters and the writing behind the characters, the music and sound. Music and sound is so important. It is. It it helps set the stage. Yeah. For your experience. Right. Bring it all together so that instead of you just focusing on, well, I'm really good at story and graphics aren't my thing. Well, get good at graphics. You know, work with the graphics you can work with. Yeah. Get people who can make graphics for you. You know, oh well, you know this sound. This this sounds really good. This music that comes from default. Uh, well, maybe it's a good soundtrack, but does it really tell you? Does it really musically say what you want to say? Right. You know, this right here, this whoa, whoa, this is everything I need to know about this world, mm -hmm. musically speaking. So next time you guys want to make a game, look at everything that it's going to take to tell your narrative. Not just pretty graphics, awesome yeah. battle system, flashy, cocky characters, and cool powers where they go flying all over the place making V's and cherry blossoms. <laughs> Do this. Uh, shit, <laughs> anything on your end? It's so organic, this game is, that you, you don't want to put too much more into it because then you'll, you'll unbalance it with a discordant note. This really is an experience. The gently moving graphics, the color palette that you choose to use, and the music. It all combines to form a setting and you're actually telling a story through this indirect narrative. I like it. I really like it. Very well said, honey. So for everyone who's watching, take note. Hi Blitz, be proud of yourself. And uh, if anyone has any additional feedback, yeah. hit us up. So we're okay. going to be out of town for a little over a week. Uh, we are taking our niece and nephew to Disney World, and that's yes. all we're going to say. <laughs> And uh, you will not hear hide nor hair of us while we are chilling with the mouse. So we're going to leave you with this one right here. Yeah. Um, 
we'll be back sometime in November and we'll pick this uh pick up a new let's we'll play. Pick it up. Yeah. Good job, high blitz. Whew. Damn. All right. <laughs> well, here we go. If you like what you saw, leave that smack down on that like button below. Subscribe to our channel. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Connect with us over Facebook, Discord, Twitter, and we will see you in the next video. See you next time.